What's going on everybody, it's Jamel Gibbs, your family-oriented entrepreneur. Welcome to another video. Today I'm out here with Randy and Monique. These are personal friends of mine who became clients. We're working on their first deal right now. Actually, they're working on their first flip. It's gonna be a $100,000 flip, that's a big one. And we're gonna take you guys through this journey. So, with that being said, let's get right into this. Randy's, uh, he's been my, you know, we've been friends, I've been friends with Randy and Monique for a while. And, um, you know, I, um, so they live, what, 30 minutes away exactly. from here? Exactly, high point. So we were, you know, our kids are friends as well, really good friends. So um, their daughter came over our place, or my daughter stayed over your house, mm -hmm. right? And then um, dropped you her dropped off. her off. Yeah. yeah, oh, that's exactly right, yeah. You, you dropped her, you yeah. dropped her back, back home, and then, you know, I say, why don't you stay for a drink? So we had a couple of drinks that day. <laughs> and uh, and let me tell you this. So, so um, we, you know, n normally when you, when you drink and you're just sitting and you're chilling and doing what you do, you, you're going to get into some conversations. So then Randy started, I started talking about business a little bit. Randy started talking. And then he was like, so how do we do this? And this was like two months ago. Within a week, not even, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm we just going to say... We were sitting there and Monique and I, she's been wanting to do it for years. Mm -hmm. And I've wanted to do it, but I don't like to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. And so I don't like to reinvent the wheel. So I've had uh, reticence. I haven't wanted to do it because I don't know how to do it. And so simply sitting down talking with you briefly, you shared a couple things. Um, and those couple things for me personally gave me enough confidence to say, oh, it's that simple. Yeah. yeah, we can do this. And so um, I believe it may have been that same week, got in touch with, tried to get in touch with a realtor, but then you put us in touch with the realtor right after mm -hmm. that. And within a week and a half, we were looking at houses yeah. and putting an offer on houses. And, you know, just for full disclosure, you're not a brand new business owner. So you kind of, you understand how to run a business and you understand what type of drive it's going to take. You know, a lot of people getting started in real estate they've never had a business before. So your your experience level is going to be a lot different and your um, your drive is going to be a lot different than the average person. And plus, yeah. what, what you're doing is you're, you're in the education space, mm -hmm. right? So construction education. Exactly. Teaching people how to get their contractor's license, right? So it's kind of related to, to real estate in that sense, but at the same time, it's different enough to to make it two separate businesses, right? I'm just gonna throw in there, but Monique also, her background is business. And she's done training. And again, she's wanted to do this. She's bought and flipped a lot of things like cars, vehicles, and things like that. So Monique was primed for it as well. Yeah. So you wanna tell them a little bit about what you do? Yeah, I mean, I knew it was something I could do if we just had the right direction. Um, I've run different branches around the country for ADT, train people sales, mm -hmm. negotiating. Um, I've had a car lot, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I also have learned uh, interior design, decorating, things like that. So I knew I wanted to get into this field, but for Randy and I to be on the same page and just have the direction on how to get into yeah, it for sure and it has helped i feel like everything that we've learned over the years from our businesses has helped us to be mm -hmm. able to work with people manage things problem solve mm -hmm. yeah so it took about a month for you to be able to get your first deal and obviously we had a couple hurdles before that right uh just negotiating the deal and all of that stuff yeah uh, so then you know that's when they decided okay i, I need some more coaching and, and that's kind of where we went and that's when we went in that direction. But at the end of the day, you can't necessarily uh, take, you know, their experience and compare it to yours because everybody's circumstances are different. I talk about this all the time. Everybody's skill sets are different. You have to look at your personal circumstances and say, okay, I can adjust this based on my, my situation right now. So that's super important especially when you're building a business. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody. But let's take a look at the house, guys. All right. Okay, so yeah, here we're gonna just get some demo work. We're gonna take the paneling down um, and probably put some other paneling up. We're gonna keep this very simple, just as it is, but it's a nice full garage. So you see some of the supplies we're already stocking up for the house. We got 
our vanities, our light fixtures. This is great. You know, I've been finding my deals. I Everything got my, that you need. That's right. right. Find the deals. I got my connections that I've kind of uh, gotten over the years and mm -hmm. made some new connections. So getting, trying to still keep it high end, but getting mm -hmm. things at a good, you know, price. That's and right. And then saving where we can, spending where we need to. This stuff is fantastic. This is, this is, this is excellent. Now, where did you, where did you guys pick this stuff up from? So I got uh, a guy in Mebbin that I'm mm -hmm. getting my vanities from, a couple of the sinks. Um, different things in different places. Uh, some of these I ordered, you know, like in the master, for instance, I wanted something. We did Delta in there mm -hmm. just because they had the nickel and black finishes mm -hmm. that I wanted. Um, you know, some of these lights, I got a person out in Winston that gets them wholesale, yeah. get them like that. So. so notice what Monique is talking about, guys. So she's getting higher quality stuff. But you, you notice she keeps saying, I got a guy, I got a deal. I'm looking, looking for discounted stuff. So you look for deals when you're doing rehabs, right? And that's how you get it. You have the opportunity to save a lot of money on these rehabs as well. Yeah. This vanity, right? for instance, between this and this sink being new, you know, usually this can cost you $1,300 or Easily. so. I got both of them together for 500. 500, see? <laughs> that's how you save money on the rehabs. Yeah. And that's how you increase your profitability on these rehabs as well. So like, you might have an initial rehab budget of let's say $80,000, but you could get that number down based on what you buy, the materials that you buy. Cause really most of the money is going into labor, but you get to save the money. Even with new construction, you do the same exact thing, right? You, you save the money on the stuff that you buy. So if you can get deals, that's how you're gonna be able to add more money and profits into, you, into yeah. your pockets. Even our cabinet connect um, was able to go there, talk to him. So I got this cabinet from a brand new for 50 bucks, mm -hmm. you know? So sometimes you go to somebody for- You got this day, for $50? 50 bucks, brand new. Wow. <laughs> and I'll show you the cabinets, they're beautiful, you know? So mm -hmm. let me say, shout out to Bedrock Cabinets in, yeah, in absolutely. Winston, in March. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So what was the purchase price of this property? We ended up, uh, the listing price was 315, 315 and we went in with the full price offer on mm -hmm. the first day, but we ended up after, you know, looking at things, figuring out our budget, they weren't willing to budge that much, but we got them down at 310. Yeah. And what was the after repair value on it when you ran comps? Well, it was a little lower than I expected. Now I have my number. They were looking around 475, mm -hmm. but some new comps have come up. And with what we're doing to it, I'm very confident we're going to get over five for it. Over five. So yeah. you're thinking about maybe five and a quarter, five, 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 twenty four, nine is my number right now. Nine. Awesome. <laughs> Challenge is, is there are no comps in this area. No one's bought or sold mm -hmm. within a mile or two of this home in years. Mm -hmm. So we've got to Well, go. with, but, with the amount of land at the property, I live, not even three minutes from here. Okay. A three minute drive, right? Um, with, with that being said, like in that neighborhood where I'm at, like on that side, mm -hmm. uh, you might have more comps, but with this much land, yeah. I mean, this is a, what, a two acre? Acre, acre and, and a half. half. Acre and a half lot. And then you have the property, what's the square footage of that? It's going to It'll be, be over 3,000. 3,000 square feet, yeah. right? So, you know, with, 3,000 square feet on an acre and a half. Yeah, you're right. There's not going to be any comps. Well, I will tell you, though, there's a house for sale by owner mm -hmm. down the street. I just went to look at it. The owner happens to pull up and said that same day he got three offers over half a million. Whoa. And it's smaller than this. So it's perfect timing smaller. for us. Smaller. Is it renovated? It's renovated. He just renovated it, but less square footage. But I told him what we're looking for. He says, you're going to get it. Nice, man. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> that. <laughs> so we got, yeah. how much work are you, what, what's the rehab budget on this? It's gone up a little bit because we decided since we had the septic tank and we wanted to add a fourth bedroom, the septic tank was only rated for three. Gotcha. So in order to add that fourth bedroom and listed to, as such, we had to connect to yeah. the city sewer, which added about another five grand onto got it. it. So, so you um, got that done the right way. Exactly. And adding the bathroom as well. Exactly. So you're going to add that bathroom. It's going to increase. So although it, it's going up, so have your, your, your profitability. profitability. Exactly. exactly. It went up as well. So it doesn't really matter. We went so from it's a 3-2 gonna... to a 4-3. Exactly. So it's still, it's still going to be um, around 55000 uh, or so. And, and profit? No, in rehab. Oh, in like rehab. The, got yeah, it. Yeah. The, the goal, the hope is 100000 profit. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> First one. First yeah. one. But again, 
you know, is this an everyday thing? When, when you're playing in this level, you're talking about a half a million dollar house, right? Um, most people are not starting on half a million dollar houses. On a half a million dollar house, you should be expecting a hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in profit. You know, I, I always go for ten to twenty percent profitability. My fine medium right there is fifteen percent profitability on every single house. So on a half a million dollar house, I mean, you're talking about good money at. 100,000 bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we'd like to stay in the high end market if we can. For sure. Yeah. I think that's a great market for you, for you guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's head on inside. All right. So you guys had a railing. Last time I was here, you guys had a railing up. It was all brick mm -hmm. falling apart. And so we took this down. So what we're going to do is just some, um, they're going to build some wood railing mm -hmm. and get some of the metal, mm -hmm. you know, bolsters for it. And so um, probably stain it, you know, something to kind of go with the outside. Yeah. You're going with composite wood or regular wood? Probably regular wood because yeah. it's going to be a little bit a little more cheaper. affordable. Mm -hmm. And when we stain it and put the black metal bars on it, you know, yeah. it should it should look nice. Absolutely. And Not pressure wash. The whole house will be pressure washed next yeah. week. And then we actually decided we are going to paint it. We are going to paint, paint the white. outside? Yes. Nice. Um, so white and black? Yes, white and black. Yeah. I saw a house down the road that kind of fit that. And because the inside is going to be... Right down Liberty? Yes. Yeah. Because the inside is going to be so modern, we want the outside to match the inside yeah. when people pull up. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when I first saw this property, I fell in love with it myself. Yeah. I could definitely see the profitability. Um, we just for full disclosure, we walked through the property a couple of times together. But um, we also talked about some of the stuff that we're going to do um, inside. You guys made some really good decisions in, in regards to you know, the, the structure on the inside. You know, honestly, and, and this is me, I thought it was gonna cost a lot more money from what you, I, but you found somebody to get yes, it done for. get it done. Man, that's how you <laughs> get it done. So let's go see inside, yeah. guys. When I first came to this property, this room was kind of closed off. The, there was a door right here, and there was a big wall right here. Now, I know. Go way across. Yeah. And, and I had an issue with, this right here, trying to figure out how this was gonna work, but you guys did a fantastic job with removing this wall. And that was Monique's idea. And Randy. And Randy. <laughs> I'm giving her a little credit, man. I gotta give her the credit, man. <laughs> but look, this creates an open, open floor plan. Right now, the house just feels different. Do you have any pictures of the before? I do. So what we'll do is we'll pop up a picture so you guys can see what the house. It was looking like before and then once they're done with the rehab we'll walk through again just to kind of is that okay yeah, right so um this was closed off on both this sides is all there closed. was two walls yep. all the way from here down here the only way in here was this little door mm -hmm. which was even smaller built-ins here this was closed this was closed i love this this was closed even up to here so this, this is, is yeah this is the support beam mm -hmm. but we did this to match right so it didn't look odd so yesterday we were talking about the trim we're going to trim all this out mm -hmm. trim around the side so it'll be decorative you know it'll look good there was a there was a um i think you guys had an ac vent going up from well this was now this area there was nothing there there was nothing it was nothing there just open. so what no, was it no, that there was, was it wasn't open. no there was ac venting right here but so we're Okay. Yeah, okay. There, there was AC running right here along the wall. Uh -huh. So we had to pull all that down and now the vent is gonna have to come from the ceiling. So gotcha. we'll have Dell next week coming to, to drop just it down from the ceiling. Just relocated, perfect. Yes, exactly. I mean, it just looks fantastic, man. On this side, you had the dining room. This was all closed off right here. That led downstairs. So this wall came up and then this was far narrower. Mm -hmm. up Opened up the... So this here, you didn't yeah, need so walling. we open all of this All up. of it. Yeah, so yeah. That there was just a little narrow door here. Mm -hmm. And so we opened it all up. Fantastic, man. What did, what did, this, what did this run you? I tell you what, this, this wall to do all this and take this down, he did it for about two grand. It, <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Now, you know, there's, there's all the little 
paint is one thing, the trim's another, you mm -hmm. know, but putting it all together, but it's all staying in the budget. Yeah. And this is a huge deal compared to what somebody else would charge to put a beam to cut this. Yep. It was a lot. He said it was tough, but I mean, it came out great. Absolutely. Already have the ceiling? It just creates, a, when you walk into the house, now it just feels more open. Exactly. You know what I mean? A lot more light. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And the kitchen, I love the fact, I know we were initially talking about coming this way, but then you did mention that you, you, you thought it was a good idea to go that way. I want a separate dining Fantastic room, touch. you know, yeah. and we got a beautiful light that's going to come in here to make it stand mm -hmm. out, some modern fixtures in there. This is all going to be recessed lighting nice. in the formal. And then this kitchen right here. So, you know, it came just around here and right. you see where the floor is. This right. is where it came out peninsula. So it's this tight little spot. So what I wanted to do was just bring it around and then bring it to the other side in mm -hmm. order to keep the storage since we took that out. And now it's just a big open kitchen where right. there's still room for a dinette set That's over right. there. We added a pantry on this side so they still have the storage and space, space the for end. the refrigerator space for the fridge we're going to have the microwave oven there dishwasher here um i got a really nice backsplash we're going to do to make it look mm -hmm. luxurious and pop some nice pulls mm -hmm. and we got the quartz coming in next week they just came and did the template for it this is dishwasher you said that's dishwasher yep sink yep Sink, sink base. there, we got the sink over there already. So yeah, it'll be a nice uh, quartz with a little bit of gray in it. What are you doing with the ceiling fan? Um, we got a flush light fixture got to it. go in here. I'm gonna Perfect. put a recess light over there. Since the ceilings aren't that tall, mm -hmm. I'm going with something a little bit more flush. But again, mm -hmm. everything, trying to keep everything cohesive, complementary, mm -hmm. right. you know, so that, especially with a 3,000 square foot home, it can be tough to make yeah. every room kind of go together so that has been uh some work but it's it's going to be nice sounds good you guys want to head on to the to the back and i'll show you what we're going to do with this fireplace here too so man this really opens it up this yeah. is just this is amazing so the other it's day amazing. i was here we had this huge mantle which uh -huh. we were going to paint and i was just going to put this towel on the inside uh -huh. but i'm here the other day and i'm like it just wasn't gonna go with the modern feel. Uh -huh. So I had him rip it out. I got a straight mantle coming to go across the top. This is gonna go all the way around. Uh -huh. And then this is gonna go on the hearth right here. And then this will be painted black. So Absolutely. it's gonna be a really nice uh, accent piece right here. What are you running up on the top? Are you doing anything to the top half of it? Just the, the mantle. mantle going across here, mm -hmm. so they can put, you know, there'll be enough space to put whatever they want on top, like whether it's a TV or, yeah. or you know, decorative stuff. Perfect. Yep. Man, great, great ideas. Um, going to the back, I know this was a little more closed off. This was closed off before as well, wasn't it? Yes, all the way over to to about here, I think yeah. was closed. And then off. he opened all of this up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got it. I know he's painting right now, so. So right here, this was the laundry room. Yeah. This was the laundry room and this was the closet. Right. So we still had trouble fitting the bathroom in what was going to be the laundry room. So we ended up going into the closet to mm -hmm. give space for the shower. So now we're going to have, and if you want to come around and see, we're going to have a 48 Maybe inch vanity. In oh, we're going to have a 48 inch vanity in there. I'm going to have a nice size shower toilet over there on the side. You'll see we already got flooring going down in here and the room's painted. And yep. I love the flooring. It's nice, bright. It's got some gray, some beige. Um, so I'll show you. So we went with a, a white uh, called a cameo white to just mm -hmm. do an off white and then a bright white trim. Mm -hmm. So just to keep it all light and bright, you know, they can always add their own mm -hmm. colors to it later on if they want to. Love the huge windows. Yeah. Thank you. you. Added, the windows you, were good. We were, didn't need to change. You didn't need them. to change any windows. Nope. Yeah, Save awesome. money. Lots of money. Man, this is fantastic. So three weeks in to have floors down and painted. Yeah, that's we're, that's we're doing good. Excellent. <laughs> Same with this bedroom. This good is LVP. LVP. Yes, LVP, waterproof. Yep. Um, It's just a fantastic house. And the price on this was great. Great quality, but really? I got it from Discount Florin for, I think, $1.59 a square foot. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. 
you know, and it's it's not scratching. And, you know, Did you guys build on um, this, this okay, piece right so here? Okay, so we just decided this yesterday because of the vent, mm -hmm. you know, the, the duct right there. We decided we're going to close that off okay. in Got order it. to hide the duct. The closet is still big enough. Absolutely. Um, cool. And then the master. Three weeks. Three weeks in. That's incredible. <laughs> Look at this, man. This looks completely different. Because I, I, this used to be the... This was the tight master bathroom. bathroom, but it was a tight master bathroom before. It only went basically to the end of this window. This first window right here. Wow, so hold on a second. Oh, I see what you did. This this is where it ended. My good, I mean, because you had a ton of space on that side. Well, so this was the did. other bathroom. So it was right. two small bathrooms. Now it's one. You see, we just got the accent wall tile up. I got a beautiful matte gray uh, freestanding tub that's going to go right here on the wall. The vanity's right here. Now this was tough. This was tough because it's narrow. I knew I wanted two sinks. I knew I wanted a tub. Mm -hmm. I wanted everything, um, but it was hard to fit. But we figured it out and we ended up the toilet was here because we couldn't find a place so we moved it here so it's out of the way you see this just got done yesterday it's yeah coming out beautiful did you guys have to put new sheetrock throughout the whole house that's a good amount yeah i can tell because this looks like the walls look brand new now this these were sheetrock just painted just mm -hmm. got the paint up but the living room the basement was all panel it was all panel. yeah so right. you'll see even the basement they got it they got mm -hmm. it fixed up already. Man, this looks great. Let me take another peek. That's coming out great with the grout. It is. It looks good. Nice oversized. Well, not. Well, it is. Yeah. It's a large shower. It's, we, we definitely enlarged it from what it was. It was like three by three or yeah. something really. You went that before. way with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This and I got the, uh, the nice big shower systems with the body jets. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's going to be like a. This is what sells the house, the ensuite. Right. suite. So we want it to be like, wow, when they come in here to see it. What's going to be right here? The tub, a freestanding the tub. tub. Got it. Yep, with the you know black tub filler in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice, man. That's super nice. Because for a half a million dollars, you got to think gotta, about the clientele. That's right. And that's why mm -hmm. some of this stuff we wouldn't do on a starter home. But because it's a high-end home and we want to get that money, we're, we're doing a little bit more of high-end fixtures yeah. and tile and things like that. What I like about all of this is you were still able to stay in budget. Yes. So I'm a numbers guy. <laughs> you know, so as long look, we can put everything we want into it. Right, right. If we're in budget, man, that's where that's where yeah. that's how you get to keep your money. Yeah. So the basement? Yeah. We're adding another light back here so it's not so dark. So yesterday my daughter had a good idea. She said, Ma, you need a light like here for the basement stairs. So mm. yesterday we decided Install to put one that. right there. He mm. already did it overnight so and there's one at the bottom of the stairs we're going to have it on like a like a three-way mm -hmm. and so this way when you turn on you, this is you know lit and then downstairs also the stair treads are ready we just got the stair treads made to match the rest of the floor so i'll be picking those up today fantastic after you man you you know we took the laundry room out upstairs so it was like where's the laundry room gonna go off. we closed this off that's gonna be the bedroom so now we got a huge laundry room and storage room back here yeah. and it's still easy access right at the bottom of the stairs but we wanted to make sure in case somebody decides to rent out that other side or use that mm -hmm. the, the main house still has access to the laundry room and they can always close that door but yeah laundry room right here storage, storage. back there yep. take a peek at this real fast this is where all of that stuff was at back mm -hmm. here before so we drywalled it we're gonna put something on the ceiling too mm -hmm. um but yeah this looks great, man. And then you made that into the other bedroom, like you said, right? Yep. So this is family room. We're actually going to um, tile the front of this. Mm -hmm. and um, Same tile as upstairs? No, I got a gray tile, a little more matte. Mm -hmm. So it's it just a large tile, a little less expensive mm -hmm. for down here, mm -hmm. but just to give it something. And then we'll probably stucco this and just paint it. And then I'm going to put some type of shelving or something mm -hmm. on that side. Yeah, that'll be awesome. 
So now, so this was the thing. We had the other door going into the bedroom, mm -hmm. but we wanted to keep that separated. So I just asked Rigo the other day to put a door here and he cut it out. So now you can get into this bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom now. Got it. So nice big bedroom. Yeah. We added a closet back here to make, it, any, to make it a bedroom. Did you have any issues with getting this approved through the city? No, because uh, it's under a certain amount, we don't mm -hmm. need to That's right. get a building permit. We just need permits it, for 40, plumbing and electrical. Right, 40, under 40,000. 40,000, yep. Yeah. Closet, big bedroom, and you guys were adding that as a bathroom? The bathroom, yeah. Got it. With kind of a Jack and Jill, you can go in this way, coming through both. Still, I'm gonna work and get that concrete out. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Man, this is fantastic. So he, this is all new plumbing in here? Yes. You see, we had to put a sump pump. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that, so that's, you know, that's what added a little bit of something too. Um, but it's, it's all gonna be worth it to, to So you guys it. broke all of this up, mm -hmm. yes. pretty much. Broke yeah. it all up. To add it, change it from a 3-2 a to a 4-3, mm -hmm. it, it's worth the expense. Absolutely. Man, so this is like his own little apartment down here. Exactly. Right? They can Airbnb it. It's got yep. its own entrance, in-law suite. Yep, in-law suite, whatever. This is fantastic. Separate entrance back there. Again, this is how you capitalize on the property. So anything else you guys wanted to add? Um, how are you enjoying the process? I'm loving it personally. Yeah. This is, it's right up my, now it's, you know, it has its stresses. Um, I come here one day thinking everything's good and then it's like, oh, okay, we got to figure this out. A lot of decisions have to be made on the spot. Uh, a lot of running around. I ran out of this. I got to yep. go get that, yep. you know, but um, I enjoy the, the challenge of it and the creativity. Mm -hmm. I like being able to put my touch on it and having a great contractor who can bring my vision to That's life. That's right. Bring it to life. Yeah. Uh, one thing I will say, um, you know, obviously, as you continue to build out your team and you get th through the closing process, this is the first one. This was a big project, yeah. you know, for your first one. Um, it's going to just get easier from right. here, right? So the, 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 the biggest thing is being able to find the deals, mm -hmm. right? And you're in a different type of market, so a higher end market, it'd be a little easier to find these types of properties. Yeah. You know, you're not going to have the same kind of bidding wars as exactly. the first time Which home buyer. Which is what helped us to get exactly. this one. Yeah. Because in fact, that's the reason we ended up here. Mm -hmm. Because we tried to uh, get some smaller homes, mm -hmm. but there were the constant bidding wars. And mm -hmm. maybe we got a little impatient, uh, but we didn't want the Sometimes bidding Sometimes impatience wars. is good though. Yeah. So we found this, a realtor you referred to us helped us find this place. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've just gone from there. The thing about this was it was overall well maintained. Mm -hmm. You know, it hadn't been updated. Everything was old, but the bones of the house was good. You know, windows, roof, things like that. Um, has a full house gas generator. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of pluses. We just needed the, the cosmetic. Yeah. Even the, the, the lending aspect of it, um, you guys, did you guys Higher. use... The same uh, lender? Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. That so we, uh, interest is high. That's why we're moving. That's yeah. why we got to get, right. get out in five, four to five weeks. Every day you own a house, it costs <laughs> you money when you're doing a rehab, yeah. just so you know. What would you tell people who are thinking about starting real estate? Yeah, whatever the hurdles are, you can overcome it if you have that right mentality that, you know, you're looking at it as the, the end goal. You know, what's the end goal? How do we get there? Staying positive, mm -hmm. um, having a good team of people, you know, having that contractor, finding somebody that you can trust that's going to work hard and get it done on time is important. Um, but just enjoy the process, you that's know, it. be willing to, to roll with whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. I had absolutely nothing to do with this deal. <laughs> These guys, they went out and found it. Um, no, go ahead. But I'm going to say, um, you know, and watching some of your videos, you say there's a lot you can learn for free, mm -hmm. but then at some point you're probably going to want to pay someone. And uh, I'm from the school. For me, what helped me personally is once um, to have the confidence to know, even though there's not a lot that you did, 
but just having you as that insurance mm -hmm. to know that I can come to you with whatever questions. Got it, man. Full, full disclosure, the, the, um, Randy and Monique, they did sign up for my coaching program, right? And again, I'm not trying to take credit for anything because these guys went out and put in the work. And it would be the same with you. You go out and put in the work. I can guide you or provide you with resources and ideas, but it's really up to you to be able to go out. I can't do the work for you. You got to go out and do it yourself, right? So um, I did provide some resources, but these guys really did the work, and that's what it's all about. I gave Randy the formula the first day. I gave him some, some uh, people to contact, and he went out there, and, and, and Monique, they went out there and actually got it done. Um, they stuck relatively close to the formulas, right? What'd you say? Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's what made the numbers work. So for those of you who believe you can't get a deal at, I mean, you got this at what, 50 cents on a dollar, give and take, 60 cents on a dollar, mm -hmm. yeah. right? 60 cents on a dollar, um, if you believe it, it's not possible in this market, even with bidding wars going on, it's happening. You just mm -hmm. got to get out there and get it to make, you got to get it to work for you. Right. So you can't make excuses. You got to put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort and the fruit is just at a late. I mean, it's going to be a hundred thousand dollar flip for you guys. How does that make yeah. you feel? I'm excited. And then, yeah, I can't wait to see the finished product, make that and then move on to the next one and for keep sure. it going. For sure. Yeah. And we will have a follow up video. Um, once this is done, we'll probably revisit this if that's OK with you for guys. Sure. Um, and then maybe we'll talk about, you know, the overall deal itself. Yeah. Um, you know, how did, how did the, how did the numbers pan out for you, mm -hmm. especially for your first one? This is a dream deal for a lot of people. You know what I mean? So look, guys, you want to continue to see this journey with, uh, Randy and Monique. Uh, again, these are friends. They became clients, but they're friends of mine. Um, and they're action takers. Again, they, they, they're previous business owners, um, and they're, and they're willing to put, they have the work ethic to be able to make it happen. That's what it's going to, that's what it's going to take for you to be able to succeed in real estate as well. So do me a favor. Uh, if you have any questions or anything else you want us to cover on the next video, you want to continue to see this journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, but leave a comment as well. That way we're reading comments just to kind of see how we're going to put the next video together for you uh, during your learning process as well. Talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.